All right, everybody, welcome back to another X Vault gaming video. X Vault here, and today I want to go over another install video. We're going to reapply another brand new SSD. This is from Sabrent, as you can see here. Um, I'm going to put this in my son's PS5. My previous video, I put it in my own PS5. Everything worked great and everything like that. But this one, I want to make it a little more clean. I want to show you step by step, show you the spacer and every, everything in there, um, as well as show you the screen itself and what that setup looks like. Last time, I was just kind of putting it together for ease of use, but I know a lot of you out there just want to see, you know, beginning to end completely um, rather than just have this piece in there. So I'll go ahead and be breaking this down and getting right back to it and showing you the ins and outs and all that good stuff and how simple this truly can be and what a positive convenience this can be for you and your system. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so like I was saying, we do have the SSD, the Sabrent. Uh, this is a Rocket 4 Plus NMVE with the PS5 heatsink. So this is the combo pack itself. Previously, I did get, uh, you know, them both ordered separately and everything like that. So I'm not going to state the price right now because this does change often. I will put the link uh, in the Amazon description below um, in the video as well. So you can kind of see what that pricing is. But without further ado, we'll go ahead and just keep this open and go from there. So yes, I've, I again, I've, I've already had this for my own PS5, and it's just been such a fantastic SSD. It really has. This is a one terabyte, as if you can't see, um, which I think, honestly, is more than sufficient. I made 500 gigs work for over a year with my PS5 with the games I'm not using. It's not too hard to re-download the games or anything like that, honestly. But, uh, yeah. So... What we'll do is get this first part open. This will be the SSD itself. And as I stated in my last video as well, I really actually like this color, like this almost like rose gold. I know it seems like maybe a little older fashion for that, but honestly, it just is a cool little accent. And then I really do enjoy the heat sink itself. Now I'm not gonna try and save this box because you really don't need to. Plus, it comes in a really cool tin here, which is pretty neat in itself, in and of itself. So, like I said, just a really, really cool tin there. I really do enjoy that. So, as it has it in here, it has instructions on how to put this together. So, you can, for the most part, figure out how that would go in to the systems and stuff like that, whether it be a computer or the platform like the PS5 itself here so and then as you can see we have that in there just encapsulated pretty well so super neat super neat but I really do enjoy that so now if you ask a question can I put this in without a heat sink yes you can however I do not recommend it and I know a lot of others would not recommend it because running these at a high, such a high speed the SSD is a very very fast speed on these and they will generate a lot of heat. So you do want a heat sink. Can you gamble and put it in? Yes, but again, I do not recommend it, okay? So let's keep that in mind. <laughs> so now we'll go ahead and open the heat sink itself, which is my favorite part of it, to be honest. Again, has that accent of rose gold and black. And then at the bottom, of course, it does say designed for PlayStation 5. Now. Um, for being a third-party SSD, I'm just a huge fan of that, that they just outright call it. So down here it does say it does have the top heat spreader, aluminum heat sink, thermal tape, and tells you the features and package content. So it does come with a screwdriver and installation guide as well. So you don't need to go and find you a super small Phillips head or anything like that. This does supply all of that here, so that's pretty cool. So I kind of want to do the unboxing here before I start installing it in the PS5 and what you see here. And I'll show you how simple that is. But uh, again, this just comes with the little mini instruction booklet on how to do that. And what's neat here is it does show you the PS5 
diagram there itself, right? So pretty neat. So again, you can really just follow step by step, but I'm here to kind of show you that, you know, even though instructions are there, it's sometimes not always easy, but this, this is really simple. I can't stress that enough. I just really enjoy it. So the quality builds in this heat sink itself is, is, is really amazing. So right here, we're going to have the if I can get the screwdriver out, of course, but they do a good job packaging, make sure nothing falls out. But you do have the, the screwdriver itself. This is the perfect size, works phenomenally. I believe I saved my previous one as well, but keeps coming with it. So when we're ready, we're gonna be peeling this little piece off of the heat sink. This thing is also very thick, um, does a great job at capturing that heat from the SSD itself. So. Um, again, I don't have my hands on with the other heat sinks, but uh, I have seen them, been around them, um, but I and I felt them. This honestly, between the two, feels such like a you know one of the best quality ones out there. I'm just saying. So had nothing but good reviews on this from others as well, to my knowledge. So really cool there. So I will set this to the side. And I'm gonna set these to the side as well down here. So we can get to that, set my screwdriver to the side, and we'll begin over here on the PS5. So then you're more than likely just gonna have your stand right here. Super simple to remove if it's that way before. And my other one, if you have it standing tall, you should know how to unscrew it. You'll have a screw at the bottom and everything like that. But I know a lot of folks that keep it uh, horizontally. So um, this will be for the horizontal. If you wanna see, how to take that apart vertically. You can see that in my previous SSD video um, is that mine does stand vertically. So uh, go ahead and check that out. It's pretty cool how that's done, but this is real simple, just slides in the back, of course, right? So, all right, so what you wanna do is make sure that you do have uh, the opposite end. This is where the SSD is going to be located is the opposite end of the uh, PlayStation symbol that you see on here. So whether or not you have the disk drive or the digital version, just do the opposite side of the PS5, okay? Uh, symbol or PlayStation symbol. So you just want to li lift this open a little bit and then kind of slide it like that. Real, real simple there. So pretty neat there. You're going to see some dust and everything here, um, especially if you don't take that apart too often. I do recommend you do take this apart and make sure dust is out. Now it does have a dust trap in here as well, which is really pretty cool. If you guys want to see me simply get to the dust trap and, and remove some dust and show you how to clean that, let me know. I can make a video on that. But this one is strictly the SSD here. So what we're going to do is you can see this is where the SSD will be located to be inserted. You're going to have a cool little uh, PlayStation symbol right here. And this is where you're going to take that screwdriver you received. Take it out like so. Make sure you just have everything there where it won't get knocked over. This is gonna be the plate. You can kind of take your little screwdriver and make sure it's gonna be firm in there of what that looks like there, right? So here you're gonna have measurements of what the SSD will be, but obviously this will be a, you know, specifically SSD that are compatible with it. So we won't have to worry about that. So we'll just set the plate to the side as well. And what we have is the other screw here. We want to unscrew. Now this is what I didn't show in my other video before, is not only do we have the screw, I didn't mention that we have this little piece called the spacer that I did take off off camera before. So as you can see, this is the spacer. You can see that on my finger there. Make sure we don't lose that. We're gonna have to reinsert that to make sure everything's just really tight when we get that in there, so. Perfect. Now what we wanna do is take this SSD portion and we're gonna kinda of insert it at an angle in here and you'll see where that kinda of needs to go. It just takes a little bit of finagle in there. Really gotta get that angle. This is the most difficult part in my opinion get it in there real tight and snug. It's gonna feel like it's gonna come up like that. So that's what you want. You wanna have it kind of come up like that. All right, and so once we get that in there, like I said, you want to make sure that that is indeed down like that. So this is where it comes in. 
we're going to have that once we remove the paste here we're going to have that come in like so and pop that over as well but first before we do that we want to make sure that that spacer is down underneath here again into the side where it needs to be it comes down like that and lays it flat I'm going to make that flat for that spacer and that's going to make it tight so we can then go ahead and put that screw right back in right back in as I don't fumble around here. <clears throat> That's when you get that real nice and tight in there. It's both going to be in there like so. And like I was saying, we're going to have this right on here, but what we want to do is make sure we do have that also kind of angled right here. You're going to see this little lip right here. You also want to angle that in like right there and that's also going to kind of do the same thing so when we screw that down we're going to put the screw back on there but before we do that we just want to make sure that that fits and everything moves right so now we can go ahead and remove the thermal tape here just like so you're going to have that stickiness right there and that film remove that little film there and we're going to have it so now that we know and you feel good about putting that angle in there and we have it down boom just like so. We're going to put that awesome screw right back in here. Get that nice and tight. Not overly tight. I know a lot of folks like to put this overly tight. And then when you get, have to get back in here for whatever reason, if you ever have to or selling it or want to take this with you, you're always struggling. Then you strip screws and stuff like that. So don't overly tight it, but just make it tight enough, right? Don't just like wrench it. Um, so there you go. This thing is amazing. Like I said, you can feel the metal, the heat quality, or the build quality, and everything like that. Really, really cool. So this does take the place of the plate, just an FYI. So if you have that plate, you're like, hey, what's going on? Keep this, though. If you ever need to, like I said, you're selling the system, they come out with the Slim, or they come out with a different version of a PS5, and you want that, or whatever the case is, you may want to keep a hold of that plate for sure, okay? Because you're going to want that if you ever do take this out, or if you're good with leaving this the whole time, not a big deal. But make sure you hold on to this. You don't want to lose that, okay? So that's the main thing there. So just like so, that is put in. So let's go ahead and put this plate right back on. We're going to do this kind of a similar thing. It's, it's more of a, a slide here. Real simple. Snaps in like that. You don't even have to really, like, uh, you know, align too much with those. It's really simple. So with the new plates they just announced as well and the different colors, this is how easy it is to pop those on and off, right? So real simple. And just like that, we're good to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch over. I'm going to show you what it looks like for setting this up and what that screen looks like. And we're going to call it good. You see how easy that was? Just like so. So let's go over to the next screen and we'll see you on the other side. All right. So like I was saying, what we're going to do, and I apologize for the non-better clarity mic stuff, but uh, what we're going to do is just turn this on and I'm going to show you what the screen looks like after installing this and showing that it has been done right. So we're going to turn this on. Should be an e-arc situation here where it turns both on just with the TV remote. We'll see the power up here just like so. Now, if there was an error, it will show it here just real shortly, but now it's going to say to use your M.2 SSD, you need to format it. When you format your M.2 SSD, all data on it will be deleted, which is not a problem because this is the first time we're utilizing it, right? If you want to continue using your PS5 without formatting your M.2 SSD, turn off your PS5 and then remove your SSD. So it's telling you to do that if you wanted to do that. Note that saved data, screenshots, and video clips can't be saved in the M.SSD storage, which is not a big deal, right? So if you have video clips and screenshots, keep in mind that needs to stay with the internal SS or the internal hard drive that it does come with, right? So simple, we're going to go over to format M.2 SSD. And it's going to be a, just a quick moment. Do not turn off the PS5, of course, and it's going to format it real brief, briefly. So the read speed's right there, 58, 13.7 megabits per second. It's not too bad. So if you experience problems while playing a game installed in the M.SSD SSD storage, try installing it in console storage. So you have to do that and finagle it. Again, I have not had any issues with this whatsoever. So now it's telling you it has been formatted. 
To change where your games are installed, you will go to Settings, Storage, and Installation Location. To safely remove your M.2 SSD, turn off your PS5 first, of course. So, I'll just show you two as well. We'll head on over to the installation part there. And we're going to see how that looks. So we'll go to Settings. We're going to go down to Storage. And right now we're going to see that M.2 SSD storage. So don't mind the uh, couldn't sync your data. That's always a cloud thing that's been going on that we have to fix there. But this SSD, what you're going to do is click on that. No games or apps, of course. Installation location, what you're going to do, since this is going to be a bigger storage and that's what you want to use as your default, you're going to go over to both of these and go to M.2 SSD and the same thing for that. That will be your default. To know that stayed, you can go back there. Again, you go back down to installation location, M.2 SSD storage is the default for both. Now, if it goes above that, once that's full, that's going to go back to your console storage. And of course, you can see how much storage you're, storage you're utilizing through all of these as well. So really, really cool. Real simple there. You go to the M.2 SSD storage, this will also show you the same as console storage. It'll look very similar once you start saving games and everything else to it as well. Real simple. If you ever need to, you can go down here and reformat that as well. Super simple. So just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we do have that installed and this is what it looks like when you have it fully and correctly installed. So just like so. Perfect. All right, so like I was saying, we went ahead and went through all of this, the setup and everything like that, completely easy. Hopefully this showed you everything that you needed to see and uh, hopefully get you one of these SSDs. I myself have been using this Sabrin on my personal PS5 for gosh, since my birthday in September. So um, it's been a few months now, a couple months, uh, and it has had no issues whatsoever. Everything works fantastic, uh, no technical malfunctions or anything like that kept the system pretty cool so very happy about that um, so without further ado we'll go ahead and wrap up the video here but if you do have this ssd um, let me know your thoughts and comments in the section below did this video also help you out let me know and as always if you are new here please please consider subscribing to a small streamer and gamer and everything else in between my, like myself and uh, very much appreciated. So thank you so much. At the time of this recording, we are at 161 subscribers out of the 300 goal that I did recently set. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, again, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you next time on the next X-Vault gaming video. And until then, take care.